Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's King Bro coming at you again with another video. And today I'm telling you guys exactly what haircut you should get if you want curly hair, if you want braids, you know, the temp phase, the front tapers, as well as what haircut I got. And we're gonna break it all down in the eight rules for curly haircuts. Stay tuned. This what I'm finna set up for y'all. Whoever ain't with this, don't even ask me for that. Yo, and before we start this video, I want to give a special shout out to some of my loyal subscribers. Madman Ace, Ty Ayana, I hope I'm saying that right. And last but not least, my boy Jonathan, J9 Football, man. I appreciate y'all for subscribing, watching my videos, and all that. If you guys want a chance of being shouted out, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let's get to the video. Yo, so check this out, all right? So if you're looking for the perfect curly haircut, the perfect braid haircut, the perfect lineup advice, what to tell your barber, the first rule is to always begin with the end in mind, all right? Begin with the end in mind. Know exactly what type of haircut or what type of hairstyle you want two years from now. If you want that Nipsey corn rolls with the braids to the back, you probably shouldn't get that back taper, all right? And if you want those uh, pop smoke braids, almost like I got, you know what I'm saying? You probably don't want to get this little temp fade right here. You probably don't want that side temp fade. So rule number one, make sure you understand, learn, or have some type of idea what hairstyle you might want two to three years from now because you can mess yourself up by getting the cut too early and not knowing what you want in the future. All right, boom. So rule number two, make sure you be extremely careful when you get in that front taper, all right? If you want that front taper, I know you see it, some guys do it right, some guys do it wrong. Be careful. And if you don't know what you're doing, do not do this shit yourself. You will mess your entire head journey up. The first rule to understand is, why do people get front tapers, okay? If you don't have any plan on getting twist or braid, if you're just rocking the curly hair look, you probably don't really need a strong front taper at all. But if you want braid or dreads, anything like that, understand that the front taper is key to having that sharpness. You don't wanna not have a front taper and keep getting braids because you'll start having, you know, the Mickey Mouse hairline because the braids will be pulling your hairline back and whatnot. So if we look right here, man, I don't have a very big front taper, all right? My front taper is very small. So if we look right here, boom, this is where like my long hair starts. The hair that's in the braid starts. And it's just this little nid bit of hair right here. This, that is where my front taper is. It's really not even a front taper because it's not faded. A taper basically means it's faded. It's not faded. It's clear part like i will never be able to get this part in the braids or will know what i try make sure you guys tell your barbers that you do not want it faded you want a small 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 area just so you can get a sharp line up a place where you do not want to be braided all right make sure you let them know that you do not want a big gap between your taper or your headline and where your braids start you do not want your braids starting back here and just have all of this just you know you know 360 wheels. you don't want that you don't want your braids to start back here so make sure you understand the delicacy of the tape rule number three thou shalt get side tapers all right side tapers give you all the swag all right but if you want these pop smoke braids just understand when you get this side taper it's gonna take you a long time to get these type of braids i've been growing my house about a year and a half right now so uh yeah this is this is how long it's gotten because it has to go over. You know, if I had this little bit of hair right here, then it would be down here. This part right here would be down here with the rest of my braids. But because I got a taper, you see how high it's hanging, right? See that? See how high it's hanging? You can see my taper right under there. This side taper gives you a modern look. It gives a modern look to your braids. You know, the only difference between braids now and braids back in 2003 and 2006 is this side taper. So there's going to come a point in time where your side taper is no longer gonna be a fade. And when I say a fade, it means it's no longer gonna start light and get thicker as it goes up. It's gonna come to an abrupt halt, all right? So right here, my hair is no longer tapered. It's, I don't get tapers anymore. I tell him to cut all of that down the same length. It does, it does not fade. It goes straight from Caesar to braids. Caesar to braids. There's no smooth, gradual, uh, you know, it, it's not smoothly going into my braids anymore. Um, I've done that for like the first year, you know, if you're five months in, six months in, I definitely advise you still kind of getting some type of taper, but understand that uh, when you get your hair faded, you know, when you got, you know, just a little bit of hair going up and it gets long as it gets there, when you get two strand twists, when you get braids and whatnot, you know, you're gonna have this little afro thing, you know, right on the outside of your braids. And if you've gotten two strand twists before and you have a, a temp fade of any kind, you know exactly what I mean. 
Rule number four. Thou shalt get thy braids first and thy hair cut second. At first, I thought you could just do it in any, you know, shape or form or fashion. But, you know, last week, actually, for the first time last week, I got my edge up first. And, you know, I had my hair in, like, the curly afro and my hairline was popping and whatnot. And then I got cornrows. And, you know, when you got braids, it pulls your skin back. And it doesn't always pull your skin back in all the same places all over your head. And I already got a big forehead. So if you got a small forehead, you might not have these problems. So when my braids pull my forehead back unevenly, it looks like my hairline is crooked. And it messes my whole thing up. You get your braids or your twist or whatever you're getting first. And then you get your lineup or your fade or whatever you're going to get. All right, braids first, edge up second. Rule number five, thou shalt get an undercut for hanging hair, all right? If you want your hair to hang to the sides and you got that curly hair phase and you just want it to hang a little bit, make sure you go get your undercut or your mohawk or whatever you want and it's gonna make your hair hang a lot sooner than it would if you didn't. I didn't get an undercut at all, I just got a temp fade. So it took my hair probably an extra three or four months to start hanging than you know anyone else. So I probably say my hair didn't start hanging until about seven, eight months. But somebody who's got an undercut, you know, you got enough hair, your hair might start hanging, you know, and get that curly hair drooped to the side look probably about four to five months. But just understand, if you get an undercut, you know, you're going to be really limited. When you just rocking with the top of your head being long, there's a certain point in time where, you know, there's going to be too much hair to get braided into that little ball. And I don't really know how y'all feel about getting the fade with the braids on top and it hanging down. But, you know, that's that's not a style I would want to do. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to do it, go for it. All right. Rule number six. I thought I'd never see the day where I had to make this known. I have to say this. I thought this was a given. Never. Ever, 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 ever get an S curl. Never get an S curl. Never get an S curl and s curl it destroys the natural curl pattern of your hair not saying that your hair won't be curly but it's gonna disrupt your curly hair pattern so you know the regimen that you've been doing for your hair if you got an s curl it completely changes your hair so you have to figure out what to do to your hair again it changes the dna of your hair and the only bad thing about that is while the s curl might change the dna of your hair you know the s curl effect is only gonna last for so long so that means your hair is not only gonna lose the s curl effect but you're still gonna have to do weird things to your hair to keep it healthy and whatnot. And to be honest with you, getting the S curl is gonna limit how fast your hair grows. It is, not in the short run, because it's gonna look like it's gonna grow fast in the short run, because you're gonna have a lot less shrinkage. But in the long run, over the span of a year, your hair's gonna grow a lot shorter, man, because it's gonna be a lot more fragile, and that's just not something that you want for your hair. Not to mention, it might look kinda, I'm not calling y'all lame, but it might look a little lame for you to have, you know, an afro, you know, with a little curlage one day, and to come back the next day with this super S curl looking hair. Like, y'all have seen those people where it's like, bro, you didn't deep condition. You ain't put in that curly hair work like you were supposed to. You went and got that S curl out of Walmart. I seen you. You got that cheeks looking stuff. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that. All right. And also, a perm. Do not get a perm. I know I made a video while talking about how I lost a bet and that I got a perm, but I didn't really get a perm. I actually just got my hair straightened. All right. That means I just got the girl to blow dry and she just put a flat iron on it and flat my hair. You guys can look on my Instagram at underscore King Brew if you want to see it. How literally the next day I got in the shower and I got my curls back because I was deep conditioned. I put the curly cream in there. However, if you perm your hair, perm your hair is like it adds chemicals to it. So it's a lot like an S curl. Anything that you put on your hair that burns your scalp after a certain period of time, you probably shouldn't have it on your scalp anyway. All right. <laughs> Just to be honest with you. And rule number seven. All right, this is one of the most important rules, man. It just goes with, you know, being a hygienic person, having having everything together, looking like you got yourself together, looking like you cared in the morning when you get up. If you have a fade, if you have an undercut, if you have a front taper, regardless, regardless of what it is, brush your hair, all right? If you do not have braids in that spot, you need to brush this part. Don't get this temp fade. Don't get an undercut and not brush it. I'm tired of seeing y'all with these fire curls or these fire twists or fire braids up top and then right here on the bottom you got buck shots and bb shots because you're not brushing your hair understand if you're not gonna have long hair over your head if you're gonna have it like this you need to be brushing that part all right so for this small portion of my hair i'm a 360 wave right here i'm hitting them boom strokes strokes boom 
I'm brushing that little part. And I even got like a little brush to kind of help me out. But make sure you guys are brushing that part of your hair, man. That's ultra important. And I'm, I'm tired of you. I'm tired of seeing people that got buck shots, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? How y'all feeling about the new look? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to grow my beard out a little bit. That's why I'm looking like a caveman out here for real, for real. You know what I'm saying I'm trying to see how far I can get it. Low key, I might let it grow for like another week, cut it, and then grow it back, see how it's going. But you know, I don't know. If you if you like how I look with a beard, you know what I'm saying no no homo. You know what I'm saying none of that stuff. If you're a guy watching, you know what I'm saying if you're a girl watching, go ahead. But if you're a guy, you know what I'm saying no homo. But what do you think? You know what I'm saying should I should I break? Should I keep it going? See, just see if I can try to get the beard and try to do the braids with the beard look. Or should I keep it how I normally be get it? Just get that right there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying do my thing. You know what I'm saying let me know down in the comments. Um, also, you guys, if you're watching this far, congratulations. That means that you are um, first in line to get a chance to get a free giveaway of Rich Royals. The Rich Royal Royal Hydration Treatment, the deep conditioner, you guys, um, you will actually, this giveaway I'm doing, I'm doing it for 50K, hitting 50K subscribers. So congratulations if you're watching. I'm at 47K right now, so I'm not sure where I'll be as you guys are seeing this video in real time. But um, as I hit 50K, you guys, I need everybody to go follow my Instagram at underscore King It should be right here in the video as soon as you can. And you get all the information for the um, for the giveaway. So just watch my Instagram and watch my YouTube. As soon as you see me hit 50K, look for that Ridge Royals giveaway. We're not giving away one conditioner. We're not giving away two conditioners. We're not giving away three conditioners. We're giving away three conditioners. And one whole bottle of the Royal Growth Serum, all right? So that's three Royal Hydration Treatments by Rich Royals and one Royal Growth Serum. So that's four products in all. It's a big giveaway. So make sure you guys follow my Instagram, like every picture that you see up there, man, and just wait for the moment that I have 50K subscribers because that's when you guys will notice about, know about the giveaway. And, um... Yeah, man, I appreciate y'all, man. It's been a good journey, man. I'm going to try to stay consistent for as long as I can. If you got any questions, I'm going to try to make a video about it, man. And uh, I'm wolfing right here. And you vibing with the Wolf Brill. I want you to comment Wolf down below. It's King Brill with another video. And peace. This is what I'm finna set up for y'all. Whoever ain't with this, don't even ask me for that. Right.